continuing our season, our series actually, where we're looking at the Python certification and working our way through numerous things that we're going to see on that exam. This episode, we're going to continue looking at some specific commands, and we're going to focus on the platform uh, module this time around. Now, there's a link that I will put in the show notes that has got what we're looking at, plus uh, more than a few others uh, that are out there. But we're going to look at a couple of key uh, commands that are out there to start this one off. So let's start with uh, platform platform. Uh, now this one's got two. Uh, it, you can give it zero parameters or there's two other flags that you can provide. So if I do that, uh, let's do this. Let's clear that first. And blow it up a little bit more so with platform uh, here we go now the first one I did if I just do platform itself and this is because this is what I'm on what I'm on is it tells me this is Mac OS 10 uh, dot 16 it's a six uh, x86 64 machine i386 64 bit now the second one I did and uh, let me go get what those actual names of those are is it's whether it's alias or terse uh, alias doesn't work in all uh, systems essentially so that's why we're going to find in both of these oh, let's go flip back over here when we, whether we set alias to zero or one we still get the same thing we're going to get this guy but now the other part is terse which is short so the short version if we look at the platform is going to be our operating system. If we add the long version, then it's going to add, you know, what kind of a processor this is. Basically, this is an i386. It's an Intel chip. It's a 64-bit system. So, it's some additional information we can get. Uh, or you may use this uh, occasionally. I have seen this where people are using it to do maybe, uh, maybe you've got like some scripts that are operating system specific or require a specific version of an operating system. So you can take a look at that to make sure you know what your platform is. Uh, you may just use it for logging, just to get an idea of what people are using. Now the next one is machine. So if you look at machine, it also has uh, no parameters. And machine is funny enough, gonna give you, in this case, part of what is in the verbose version of the uh, the platform. And so this is actually your machine right here. So you can either do the whole thing or you can actually pull that out specifically. We're gonna see something similar with processor, processor. So we see here with our processor, processor, <laughs> it's gonna be i386. And you see that's there. So this actually, this platform happens to be the, um, essentially the operating system, the machine, the processor, processor, and then you're going to find out very similarly. Oh, let me paste that properly. And then when we do system. You can see that uh, system is going to give you the operating system name. So, oh, I'm sorry, that's not, I was saying that's the last bit, but it's not. So, system, this is essentially the operating system name. So, it may be, um, and I forget what you'll get on some of the other stuff. I think you will see, uh, for example, in Linux, you're going to see the distros. In uh, Windows, you'll see Windows. Version is going to be the version of, get this. And this is the version of the platform itself of the operating system. So we're going to see here uh, version. And now this actually does give you a rather long you know, version in some cases, um, such as the Mac, because this is so the Darwin kernel, but this is version 20.5. And it's going to vary, obviously, I would think, from operating system to operating system. Now the next two we look at here the Python, what did I have? the first one was Python implementation. 
And then... The Python version tuple. Again, these are all really just informative. That's a, probably the, one of the key things to note about platform is it is all really informative stuff. And now you see here, uh, the Python implementation is CPython, but I can actually see the version I'm running on. So this is Vi Python 3.9. So if I go, for example, if I were to do Python-V, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's running off of a different one. That's running off Python 3, then we'll see that there you go. So I have my Python version there. And there's a couple of Python things you may have noticed off of platform, although it doesn't specifically have them noted. Then I can see like a build, a branch, a compiler, a revision. It's like if I put revision on, you're going to see, whoop, I run it. Then, oh, this one actually gives me a blank, so it's not giving me anything useful back. Uh, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It, again, that's the the positives and the negatives around dealing with a uh, dealing with the platform stuff is that it is very, uh, as probably one would expect, very platform specific. So sometimes you're going to get uh, very useful information, sometimes not so much. Uh, much like if you ever have dealt with uh, web applications and trying to figure out certain browser types or things like that, then you may have to actually do you know, something like this. You may have to be comparing some pretty long strings to see if there's a specific version that you're looking for. Uh, luckily in the Python world, you get your tuple and then you're ready to go. So you're going to know if this was you know 2.6 or 3.5 or 3.52 or whatever it is. And so you can use that. You could actually validate your Python version before you get, before you get too far into an application. And you could always kick out and say, hey, uh, this is a Python 3 application. You're running Python 2. You know, please upgrade and things like that. So platform, again, uh, there are there's several other things out there um, that have various uses essentially to them. And most of those are going to actually come to your um, come down to your system your desires your needs and if you notice even within platform uh, you can see here that there's some things that are specific to unix to Macs, to windows or even to java and this link will be in the show notes so that's platform uh, the next one i want to look at is going to be um, there's two of them so first one i want to do is whoop, is directory or dir. Oh. Uh, I think it's actually a, it's a function. We'll find out in a second. Whoop. Nope. It is just a path like that. There we go. Uh, let me clear this. And now let's take a look at what syspath actually returns to us. What we're getting from the syspath, this is our lookup. So this is where Python, and this becomes pretty useful, uh, actually pretty critical. This is where Python looks for imported packages. And we haven't gone into this too much, uh, and we will touch on it. But for example, if we look here, when we import sys and platform, those this is where it's looking for all of those things. So I could actually import, uh, let's see, what if I do, let's do something very simple. So we'll play around with this for real quick. So we're gonna do, um, let's just pick one, doesn't really matter which, so we'll do this. And this will be uh, this will be mod example and mod example. There we go. We're gonna just create. We're gonna do a little function, and we're gonna call it uh, test function. And it's gonna be. Uh, let's just do print. This is a test. 
So we're going to just, and we're going to give it, uh, we're not going to give it any kind of a um, parameter or anything like that. So then we're just going to print as a test. So now, if we wanted to include this somewhere else, so let's go back to our command examples, we could say import mod example and say from there, uh, let's see, where am I doing command? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Sorry, let's just go back where I was. Uh, this was actually platform commands. So if we do this, and then what did we call that? Call it test function. So we could just run, technically we could run test function. Whoops. And what we're gonna see here is it's gonna complain because it's not seeing this. Uh, because what we want is, uh, sorry, we wanna do this. So here we're gonna do from mod example import test function. Whoops, I think it's a lowercase, is that right? Yes. Whoop. And what we're gonna get is, uh, if I run it, I'm gonna get that, oh, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna take this, so from, uh, I had to change my name here, so I flipped this over. So, because it doesn't like the hyphen, but uh, from mod example, then I'm going to do import test function. And so now, uh, let's clear this. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do that. And here we go. This is a test. So that's that one. Now it's picking it up because it's in this current directory. If I move that, then if I move what I call it, mod example. So I just move it out of this folder. Now it's gonna blow up because it's not gonna be able to find it. But if I do that and push it to something that's in the system path, like for example, let's just put, uh, let's do my users. So if I go to my user site packages, I do that. Oh, no, it's not going to pick it up because I probably don't have that in the right place. Uh, let's see, users, ROM dev library, Python, Python site packages. Let's see if I got that right. Oh, it's to site pack. Shoot, I missed one. That's what it was. So I'm gonna take. I need to make that to that slash. Uh, I'm gonna call it mod example. Where did I put it? There you go. Now, if I run it, uh, clear. Let's run it. Now it's picking up because it is in our system path. So we can actually add to that. We can append to it as we want to. That is a dynamic value uh, variable that we're working with. So we can actually play around with that and we can set up our own uh, Python libraries as needed or specifically call certain ones uh, as opposed to getting into you know, maybe what's part of, as you see a lot of these, that's part of the uh, Python version built-in libraries that you're gonna see. So that's one, the syspath actually becomes fairly uh, fairly important as you get into stuff. And uh, with directory, you can see what is, you can actually do a directory on some of these things and figure out uh, what's there. So you can see like in this case, um, this picked up from our uh, up here system platform, we've got my example. You can see that it actually piss, picked up test function. And so you can see that actually in the directory of things that's in there, which is what it's looking for. So now if I added another function, 
which I have to actually, uh, I have to jump on that real quick. Let's see. So if that was here, and what I call that. So if I add something real quick, and I add, this is going to be test function. Whoop. Two. This is. Let's do this. Also, also a test. So now this test function two lives out there, and now this time around we can see. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not picking it up because I have to specifically tell it to. So now if I do test function two. Did I get it right? Yeah, I named it right. And so now we're going to see here. So that's imported as well. If I do three, then one, I'm not going to see it, and I'm going to get an error. Uh, it actually gets it beforehand up front when it's trying to import it. It's going to say, can't do it. Test function three does not exist in mod example. And you can see here, it's going to tell us exactly where it's trying to get that from. So as part of your debugging, if you're trying to use something, uh, particularly a third-party library, you may find that things like the syspath, and uh, actually a lot of it's just normal uh, error messages, will be very helpful in tracking down what it is that you need to configure in your environment. So I'm going to wrap it up with those for this time around. Uh, went through a lot of stuff, platform, basically giving you some uh, pretty straightforward information about your platform, and then uh, your directory and your system path to figure out what the Python sees, uh, what the Python runtime essentially is seeing, and where it's looking for some of the modules and imports that you are gonna you're trying to pick up up here. Uh, let me move that mod example back, just so you've got something to play with. Uh, I'm move that to dot. There we go. Okay, so it's back there so you can play around with it. Uh, all this will be in the GitHub repository, and uh, we will just continue next time around. So as always, go out there, have yourself a great day, a great week, and we will talk to you next time.